Liam Neeson's Ra's al Ghul was, to me, just another Liam Neeson performance. It was, to, like, when I saw a picture of Ra's al Ghul from the comics, he did look like, and I was like, yeah, Liam Neeson looks like a Ra's al Ghul. He, he could definitely look the part. But, like, this is Liam Neeson we're talking about. He's been, he was Schindler in Schindler's List, the historical epic. He was Qui-Gon Jinn in Return of uh, a Phantom Menace. He was just always portrayed as a good guy, and he generally looked like a good guy. So to picture him being the villain in a story was certainly different. I couldn't really picture it. So his overall role as Leah as Ra's al Ghul, to me, it was just another Liam Neeson performance. Just your standard, not revolutionizing or not special or standout performance, it, like in the Phantom Menace and Sindler's List. It was just more like, um, okay, he's the villain, Ra's al Ghul, and even, even when they were trying to fool you to say that he's not Ra's al Ghul, this other guy is, I knew he was Ra's al Ghul because it's Liam Neeson. He's too credible to not be a main villain or a main character, not just be this one-off guy. So it wasn't really that much of a plot twist to me. In Batman Begins. And Liam Neeson's motives as Ra's al Ghul was pretty standard to me. One head, destroy Gotham, and his mind will establish a new order with his group, with his syndicate group. It just didn't really feel. Eh. But Liam Neeson gave a good role, he gave a good performance. It was just his usual Liam Neeson role. And I have to be honest, whenever he talks, I just want to listen. Like, even in, in The Phantom Menace, I just like hearing Liam Neeson talk. And Eve, except for the midichlorians, let's not get into that. Um, but him as Ra's al Ghul, like, he looked like Ra's al Ghul, but did he feel like he was Ra's al Ghul? And at times he felt like he was Ra's al Ghul, at the same time he wasn't. He definitely was good at the physical acting, but... Overall, it just felt like your standard villain who wants to destroy the city he, because in his mind it will establish a new order. So it wasn't really special like Heath Ledger's Joker or Tom, Tom Hardy's Bane or Tom Hardy's Bane. So, meh. He gave a good performance. He definitely looked like a Ra's al Ghul. Feeling like a Ra's al Ghul is kind of, eh, kind of debatable. But overall, I did enjoy his role in it, and even though he didn't really have much of an impact in the story like he would, like, except in Dark Knight Rises with Ra's al Ghul's daughter, though really, that's not really much a surprise, more like a, oh, Ra's al Ghul had a daughter. This was Neo Reality Entertainment. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and donate, and stay tuned for more.